able to do Scourge, who stalks the innocent and destroys my robot allies, only seeks to save lives. This All right, Brave Box. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you tick. So let's get started. There's no need for that. I'm certain we can discuss this rather unfortunate situation before it gets completely out of hand. Now, what exactly did this Ivy tell you to do? Simple. She wants me to crack open that dome you have for a head and find out how your brain is connected to your circuits. Perhaps I could be of assistance in that regard. After all, there isn't much else I can do now that you've removed my head from its chassis. How about we forge some sort of an accord? Just between the two of us. What the hell is an accord? You talking about wires or something? Right. I need to phrase this so even a dullard like you would understand. Let me put it this way. You need information that's going to make your boss happy. I want to keep my brain in one piece. Maybe we can cut a deal. Fine. I'm listening. I'll tell you everything I know about my own construction. All the bits that Ivy wants to hear. And I promise you, she won't be disappointed. In return, you keep those tools away from me and put me back onto my body. You get what you want, and I don't get dissected, like some kind of a laboratory experiment. Do we have a deal? Well, that would save me a lot of time. Ivy doesn't like waiting. Tell you what, you start talking, and I'll stop drilling. After I tell Ivy everything, we'll see how happy she really gets. But I think I'm gonna leave your head in that machine for now. Just in case you decide to get any smart ideas. How's that for a deal? <sighs> I suppose it'll have to suffice. I mean, yeah. It's a deal. It is I, the Mechanist. I come to warn you of a new scourge who stalks the innocent and destroys my robot allies, only seeks to save lives. This scourge cares nothing for the progress we have made yes. and will find him to justice. People of the Commonwealth, it is I, the Mechanist. I come to warn you of a new scourge who stalks the innocent and destroys my robot allies, only seems to save lives. You don't look like one of the rest of us. What are you doing here? But we will find him and bring him to justice. What did the rust devils do to you? They felt that by keeping my head on mine would prove useful to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly. It hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for, and you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% chance that you're looking for the Mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible, so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the Mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain?
target. Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Watch the trip wires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. 